he's great. What a hero. He always gives the bad guys a really hard time. Maybe I'm getting to sort out dinner. But right now, it is time for the hip hop hat kid. Has this been ironed, do you know? That lot's not even been washed. Oh, no. <sighs> oh, find me a clean shirt while you're about it. You've got a flat, haven't you? No, well, I do now. I've moved back in. Since when, like? Since yesterday. Well, there's no point in paying rent, is there, if there's rooms empty here? No. Well, nobody told me, did they? Why should they? What's that? Nothing. So, uh, when did you get back? Last night. Well, it's all fixed up with me dad, isn't it? So it's permanent, like? Well, tell me dad and your mum sort out what they're doing, yeah. Well, it's no big secret, you know, you'd have seen me if you'd have been here. Yeah, well, I've had things to do, haven't I, Trace? Yeah. It's quiet without them, isn't it? Should never have had to go, should they? Yeah, well, what's done is done. We can come visit them and that. I'm going to eat my breakfast with this hey. on the table. Don't touch that, all right? Well, what is he not taking up crickets, are you? Don't be stupid. Well, come on, Look, I said! Up. Leave it. Christ, I wasn't doing anything. What's in the bag's my business, all right, Trace? Yeah, all right. What do you mean, none of them are clean? <laughs> No, washing machine. Who's going to fit the new one? Sorry. I did some stuff in the sink, but it took me all my time to do Thomas's. He gets through loads. I'll see to it tonight, as soon as I get in. I've got this really important meeting this morning. Prospective new client. Well, you're not the only one with a job, you know. I was counting on wearing this blouse. It goes really well with my navy suit. And I've had these jeans on twice already. What am I supposed to do? Go to work in a dirty shirt? Come on, you've got plenty. Not as many as you. Well, it matters what I look like. I'm the first contact the client has with the agency. If they're not impressed, we might as well kiss goodbye to the account before we've even said hello. To it. Yes, and it gives you the excuse to buy more clothes. Pity you can't get them on expenses. I'm working on it. Right, this lot to the laundrette then. Drop them in on your way to work, can you? No chance. I'm on site work all day today, quite the other direction. Will you? Why not? And call a plumber. Get him round here today. There's no need for that. Look, I've said I'll do it. Plumbing in a washing machine is a perfectly easy job. Which we've waited two weeks for already. Did I know the alarm was going to take so long? No more than you know whether you're going to be home late again tonight. We can't go on like this, can we, Margaret? Well, it isn't easy. All right, all right. Do as you think is best. I just hope you haven't used up all the hot water. Mm. I only hope the shower works better than the washing machine. No problem. Men. Oh, about you. I think he's lovely, don't I? Mm. <laughs> Him and his dad. Ah! <laughs> Hiya. Thanks for coming. It's all right. It was my free morning. Oh, good. What's the matter? Nothing. You ring me up, ask me to come round, stand there with your chin down to your knees and you tell me it's nothing. Either you're finished with that one, you haven't finished with that one, or you've finished with you. No, it's none of them. I haven't seen him. I mean, when I'm off duty, he's at college, and then when he's at home, I'm working at the hotel. Mm. Sounds like Harry's life. Uh, no, thanks. I've got a lot more to do before I settle down. Are you sure you're not going off him? Don't be stupid. Well, what is it then if it's not Owen? Nothing. I just didn't want to be on my own. It doesn't help making a mess of your social life, you know, working shifts. Well, I thought work at a hotel would be parties all the way. More like being Cinderella. 
I mean, you get dressed up for them, then you clean up after them. Except you never get to go. Wholemeal toast. Yes, and it's a free range egg. Would be better if we never even had the white stuff in the house. Nothing like it for soaking up the butter. <laughs> what about the cholesterol? What about your weight? I don't know why you bother going jogging when you come home and eat all that rubbish. I go jogging just so as I can eat this. How many miles do you think this is worth? My dad loves his toast and butter. I bet he's as fit as a fiddle, isn't he? Well, he looks it. See what I mean? That's different. He's got a manual job. You don't get much more manual than measuring up a building site. How often do you do that? My dad's got his allotment. He says that's what keeps him fit. I bet he grows leeks. That's an idea. Oh, no, no, no. No, it'll take us all the time to keep this garden in order. OK, then, not an allotment, but we could at least have a vegetable bed. Organic vegetables. Mm. I've suddenly got this pressing engagement with a site foreman. We could get a load of manure in, do it properly. Margaret could give us a few tips. Dig in, my dad says that's the answer. You know, the trouble with you is you've got far too much energy. I've got imagination, you mean. Mm, and I love you for it. You want to lift? Be in the car in one minute. Give him time. He'll see I'm right. That's what my mum says about my dad. She'll have an idea, then six months later, he'll say it was his idea, and only then it happens. Hmm. Do I want to wait six months? Wrong time of year for planting veg anyway. You're right. Don't forget Thomas is due at the clinic for his jab at 10.30. Oops, I mentioned the tickly throat he had. That was last week. Hmm. Better be safe. Do you think you could, um, drop in at the health food shop on your way to the laundrette? We're out of herb tea. Will do. And now there's lentil soup in the freezer for Thomas's lunch and a banana. I'll manage. And no orange squash. Brings him out in spots. And you don't want to be a spotty boy, do you? Mm? Goodness knows what the chemicals do to their brains. Well, I've got no chance then, have I? <laughs> oh. Right. <sighs> that it then. Have you got my office number? Still where it was yesterday. Yeah. Good luck. Mm. Thank goodness for that. Now we can have a bit of peace and quiet. Oh, you mucky pop. So, how's the job going then? Great, I'm learning a thing or two. How to clean the skating boards and that. How to keep fellas filthy hands off you more like. You know, just because you're a chain mate, they think you're fair game. So what do you do? Well, never go into a room without knocking. Not that knocking always helps, right? Like. Do you know some fellas leave the sign on the door for you to clean the room so you think there's no one in there? Take every stitch off and wait for you to come in. Oh, no. I've learnt more in this job in six weeks than I ever did at school and I know how to handle it now. I just die. Oh, I thought I would have first, but it's surprising what you get used to. Now I just look at them straight in the eye and say, I'm awfully sorry to disturb you, sir, and just shut the door behind me as quick as I can. And you're telling me you like doing this? I mean, they're not all like that. Most people are really nice and they leave you big tips. But just wait till I'm a hotel manager. Posh car, foreign travel, designer clothes. Mm, how long would that take? Well, how long will it take you to be a solicitor? It'll be a few years yet, but will they give you chances if they show that you're keen? I knew a girl who only started two years ago, and she's into outside kitchen already. Hiya. Hiya. Hello. Um, do you mind having this? 
No, I thought. The plumber is coming to mend the washer. Oh, he's lovely as he yours. No way, I'm his nanny. <laughs> uh, this is Nisha, by the way. Hiya. Here you go. It's nice here, isn't it? It's big. Yeah, there's a bit more room than yours. Um, Margaret's living where we used to live, Nish. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a squash, though, isn't it? Yeah, well, like, it's OK. I've got my own room and my own telly. And I get the place to myself all day. That's great. I bet it looks different. Oh, it's lovely. Loads of pictures and that. You should come round. Yeah, that'd be nice. Mm -hmm. She didn't tell you she was dead nosy, did she? I don't know the meaning <laughs> of the way. Are we still on for tomorrow, aren't we? Going the pictures. Yeah, smashing. You could come, couldn't you, Nish? No chance. I've got an essay. The on off pal and on this year, you know. Only eight months till your A levels, girls. And counting. Still at school. Up six. God, I hated the place. I couldn't wait to get out. I didn't even go back to give me books in. Still all stuck at home <laughs> under my bed. Yeah, well, they send you letters if you don't do that in our school. Yeah, I don't know where I am, though, do they? <laughs> Look what Nish has got for you. Yeah. Um, should you give him chocolates? Why not? <laughs> Well, it might make him fat. <laughs> You're as bad as Patricia. <gasps> oh! Scared, are you? No! Now you know what it feels like, don't you, Gordon? This is my house! I can smell it! What do you want? You threatened me, Mother. It's Corkill business. Not anymore, it's not. It's my business now. That's how it goes. Not when it's me, Mother. Not when it's me sister. She shouldn't have married Corkill then, should she? That's something we agree on, Gordon. But it's done now, isn't it? I should never have mentioned the name. All I wanted was them two no marks off me back. And all I want is you off their backs. OK. Look, you made your point. Let's forget about it, eh? It's your memory I'm worried about. Good, is it? It's good enough. I hope not. I hope you don't remember a fight in a pub. I hope you don't remember Billy Corkill. Or oh, Jimmy. Jimmy, you. Oh, he's nearly asleep. So what do you call them, Mr and Mrs Vaughan? Max and Patricia. Patricia? <laughs> well, not Pat. She can't stand being called Pat. Mm. Do they treat you all right, though? Yeah, they're dead nice. Well, he is. Why, what's wrong with her? Well, nothing. She just sort of wants you to run round after her a bit sometimes. Oh, I couldn't stand that, living with somebody else. It's OK. I mean, I've got my own room, which is more than I'm used to. A home I had to share with my sister. I had to share with our Katie once it was murder. And besides, you learn loads more, you know, actually doing the job than I was doing on the course. Yeah, that's like at the hotel. Well, what course were you doing? Nursery nursing. But I saw the advert for this and I thought I might as well go for it. I wanted to leave home anyway. Oh, your mum and dad? No, they're all right. Must be a fella, then. Well, it's not what you think. I mean, he didn't finish with me, I finished with him. He was getting dead serious, you know, wanting to get engaged. Yeah, I don't know. You got a fella? Good question. Yeah, of course I have. His name's Owen. Serious? Don't know. Do you mean you don't know? Well, we were once. You see, we had this accident. Um, a car crash. And he was in a wheelchair and she had to help him get over it. Oh, sounds awful. It was, but, um... It's all over now. We're all right. So get up! Now, I've got to be sure. I've got to be very sure. See, my mum's taking you serious, see? So serious that she's gone away. But she might want to come back, and if she comes back, will she be safe? Yeah. 
And if the busies come round, you don't know nothing, do you? Oh. And Billy and Jimmy, they can go drinking with one, can't they? See, in a different league now, Gordon. You're not playing games anymore with the call girl clowns. You do understand me, don't you? Yeah. <coughs> Bit of a boxer, eh? I used to be. Didn't do too bad, eh? No. No, I'll to handle yourself then, eh? Yeah. Well, not well enough! How much would it take to get somebody like you blown away? Two, three hundred quid. There's no need for all that. Not much use, really, anyway! Huh? I thought there was only two shots, did you? Well, not this one, Gordon. This one's got three. It's especially made for nothing like you. Don't you believe me? Do you want to try for the third? You better not make any more mistakes, had you? Now we do understand each other, don't we? Are you so? Friday will be great. Yeah, all right. See you then. Bye bye. Am I allowed one guess? It's not difficult. Owen. So, why is Anna so down in the mouth about it? You said earlier you hadn't gone off him. Well, why does he have to come on so heavy? Why haven't you seen me? Why don't you phone me? Why are you never in? Why are you never in? Oh, you know why I'm at work, aren't I? You're always into me, and if you're not, you always ring me back. Well, that's different. You're not exactly going to start giving me a hard time, are you? Oh, you can't blame him. You know, you never even sent him a postcard from Blackpool. Well, I was busy, wasn't I? Oh, what does it take to send a postcard? Don't you think you should listen to what you're telling yourself? Owen, what's that? That it's over, Sam. You and Owen. You don't want to know him anymore, and I think you should say so. I can't. He's all right now. Off the sticks, back at college. He can do without you. I can't. Write to him if you can't say it. It'll be kinder in the long run. Look, I can't. Come on, Sam. All you have to do is pick up a pen. Oh, I'm not saying I can't write a letter. I'm not even saying I can't say the words. Well, then. Look. I can't. Because I don't. Owen won't do anything, you know. He won't even be surprised. If I finish with Owen, I just don't know what'll happen. What is this? Why are you in such a state? Look, when I was on my own, Owen stood by me. I mean, he phoned me every day. Sammy, have you been drinking? Sam, have you had a drink? That was a long time ago. He doesn't ring you anymore. No, but his voice is still in my head. And anyway, you're cured. Oh, am I? You haven't started drinking again? Not really, now. And what does that mean? Look, it's like they say, you've got to take it one day at a time. I mean, I haven't had a drink today. I didn't have one yesterday. But what about tomorrow? You mustn't. Oh, I know I mustn't, but it's not as simple as that. I mean, sometimes it's so easy. I just think about it. If you start again, you'll just ruin your life. Yeah, but it's Owen that stops me. All I have to do is think about what he says. Just listen to his voice in my head. I can't let him go. You can do it on your own. You don't need him. Oh, don't I? That's what I thought. Oh, I thought I had it cracked. Miss Independent. Until I went to Blackpool. Oh, you didn't. Yes, I did. But it was just the one night, one night when I was on my own and it was all going round in my head. I just went and bought the bottle of vodka and I drank it. I drank the whole lot. Get in, will you? Oh, you get in. I'll take that. See sense, will you? <coughs> What's happened? No, it's all right. Come on. I said it's all right. Says it's all over now. Yeah, 
Is anything to do with that Gordon fella? <sighs> it is, isn't it? Could have killed him, you know. He didn't. No. No, I didn't. It was just... It was just standing there and I was there and... We had that. I didn't believe this. I had to do it. No, you didn't. It's easy, you know. It's to blow some more away. You can just do it, Stace. You can't. He thinks he can. Yeah, but you mustn't think so. This has got to stop. It has stopped. How? My mum, I clear. It's safe now. But they're not here. Yeah, but you are. You'll be all right, won't you? You shouldn't have done it. Yeah, too. I'm glad you're here, Trace. Roger, all right. Any news of our new neighbours yet? Well, the empty house? Not that I know of. I'm sure I heard somebody in the garden. Well, it is time of the morning. Well, my dad doesn't know where his allotment before he goes to work. Not if it's not his, he doesn't. But it is. But that's not anybody's. The, the for sale sign's still up. Well, I hope somebody buys it soon. Doesn't do a house any good to be left standing empty, especially the one next door. Oh, at least we're not a semi. Won't affect us that much. I wonder what sort of neighbours we'll get. Quiet. It's not the sort that are always borrowing things. Friendly. Mm. Not too friendly. Well, if what I heard was somebody digging, we know one thing. What's that? They must be coming soon.
all right. I won't bite. Still sounds fair stuff. Bit early for fussy, isn't it? Yeah, well, they uh, left me bag in the car last night, so I thought I'd bring it in. Yeah, well, if it was all right all night, what's... Here's me washing, today. Right, I'll see to it then. What are you doing his washing for? Well, if the machine's on, what difference does it make? Go and get me the rest, will you? The rest of what? The dirty washing from upstairs. Oh, yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah, what's up with him? He's just a bit worried about his mum. Go away, it was more than that. He looked like he was wetting himself. Do you know what the problem is with this family rod? Everyone's too busy sticking their nose into each other's business. What are you sticking up for him for? Thought it was over between you and him. It is. Oh, go away. You could have fooled me. Hello? Yeah, hold on. I'll just get him. Barry! This time of the morning, what's going on round here? Leo! How's that? Jealous of you. Oh. Well, if the kids can mess about, why can't you? Well, this isn't messing about. This is organisation. Come on, Leo. You don't want to be late. So I've got it all sorted here, you see. See these long green ones here? They're the taxi shifts. Now, when at the bottom it means I'm on nights, at the top means I'm on days. If you don't get a move on, Leo will be late for school. See this yellow star here? That's for birthdays and that. See, there's Leo's there. Can you pick him up as well? Oh, I don't think so. It's a busy time. Oh, go on. It's two busters. I can't be dragging Gemma all that way. Well, look, I've been losing jobs. I'll pay you. Oh, don't be soft, Jose. You'll do it then. Right, just this once. Now, you see these red dots here? They're for paying bills. Red so that we don't get in the red. Got it? Leo, come on! Your breakfast red's here! Hey, look, are you paying attention or what? <laughs> there must be an easier way. But this is easy once you've mastered it. What do we need it for? Look, new house, new start. This time, we're not going to let any bills build up, and this is how we do it. When we get a bill, we count forward two weeks and we stick a red dot on it. That way, we don't have to pay it right away, but we don't forget it either, right? Red dot, pay bill. Uh -huh. But how will we know what bill it'll be? Because we're going to put the mercy in order. And when you take one out from the front, you move all the rest forward, then you know the next bill you've got to pay is at the front. We don't got that many bills already, have we? No, it's just paper to show you how it's done. Hey. Now look what you've done. Have you seen Thomas's yellow jersey? Mm, not unless it's in there. Oh, yeah, what's all this in a new game? Well, now we've got it planned in, I thought we'd give it a bit of a christening. Hey. What do you think? Does this go on minimum iron, delicate, or easy care? Read the label I generally do. Um. Ah. Hand wash. Yeah, I'll stick it in easy care. Well, no, no, you can't do that. Of course you can. Yeah, this is easy care. And this is full wash. Yeah, but what about all these other programs? This washing machine, it's got 12. Well, there's not enough stuff here for 12 washes, is there? What about saving water? No, look, see. Wools, colours, white, starch and spin. What's starch and spin? Right, any more for any more? You sure that'll be all right? Yeah, no problem. So what does that make all these other programmes, then? A waste of time? You said it. Right, then. Be a good boy <laughs> and have a nice time. It's great, isn't it? It's yeah. all being together again. I suppose that means you want to kiss as well. Yeah, why not, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're right, then, son. Yep. Oh, <laughs> drop this in the post box on your way past. Oh, Christmas, is it? Doesn't say so on my chart. What's that, Dad? It's your dad's idea of a home computer. What are these, anyway? Change of address cards. We want everybody to know we're living here, don't we? Auntie Lou, your mum, Marcia. But they know we live here. Yeah, well, I was doing some, so I thought I'd do the lot. Oh, it was great writing it out. Brookside Close. I never thought we'd live in a place like this. <laughs> yeah. Landing on our feet, haven't we? Home sweet home. <laughs> I've seen places <laughs> look only. Don't worry about that. I'm working on it. <laughs> Come here, son. Yeah. See you later. He's just gone out. Well, any minute now, I should think. Any message? Ring Steph. Right, that you. About the music. OK, will do, mate. Ta-da. For Barry, again. All right. Popular today, isn't he, eh? Not with me, he's not. Takes all sorts, don't he? He's always been in trouble, him. What's he doing hanging around here, anyway? Don't ask me. Listen, main thing is there are more core kills here. That's the important thing. Yeah, well, it'll only be us core kills here if I've got anything to do with it. 
Are you on early? Yeah, well, just thought I'd, you know, nip round, see how Tracy was getting on, seeing as our Billy isn't here, and seeing as I am a family. Yeah, well, I'm doing that. Yeah, well, safety of your numbers and all that, eh, kid? Yeah. That's done. What's done? Gordon. I won't have no more problems with him. What have you done? Well, fellas like him need somebody their own size to take them on, don't they? Listen, I could have sorted that. Oh, yeah, like you did last time. Somebody would end up getting killed, wouldn't he, Jim? Oh, I hope you haven't done anything to land me in a mess. I've got me job to think about, you know. Well, your job's safe. And so is your skin. What have you done? Let's just say I had a word with Gordon. What, on your own? With a friend. I hope you haven't done anything stupid. Just leave it, A-Rod. Listen, Barry. I said it's sorted. My ma's safe. Ah, Claire's safe. My soul's Tracy. That's all we're worried about, isn't it? Now, is any tea in a pot? Look at this, we wait a week to get it sorted and look what happens. Should have brought your wellies with you. I didn't think I'd be going paddling, did I? You know, you just have to get the fella back. Oh, him? What a cowboy. He didn't even know how to fit a cold water hose on properly. His next effort will probably be blowing the whole house up. Well, never mind, cos it's your night off tonight. I brought the paper on so we can choose what we want to see. Something romantic. Nah, something funny. Anything, just as long as it's not suitable for little kids. I thought you liked looking after Thomas. I do, but it'll be nice going out with someone my own age for a change. We can go for a pizza afterwards if you want. Yeah, with loads of pepperoni. You get sick of the sort of food little kids like as well. Um, what's this meant to be? It's a waterfall on top of a mountain, I think. Oh. And what's this, like a ship at sea? It looks like it, probably because it's mine. Now, my mum and dad bought it me for Christmas. Wouldn't you prefer to get some new clothes? Well, that'll last longer, won't it? Yeah, look at this. It was a wedding present from one of Patricia's friends from university. It looks like something else of the Tate Gallery. Mm -hmm. You know, you get from the Albert Dock. What's it meant to be? It's not meant to be anything. It's just meant to remind you of a mood. Oh, let's have a look. Best wishes for the future. September 1989. That's only last year. They only been married for a year. Mm, newlyweds. Well, how old's Thomas? Well, they couldn't get married before because Max's ex-wife wouldn't give him a divorce. That's what Patricia says. God, you wouldn't think that, would you? They seem so sensible. Mm, you can't be sensible all the time, can you? Hello? Well, I'm going out. Tonight? No, Max said he'd be late. Oh, I'm telling him we've got to leave by seven. Well, it is me night off. Oh, no. Right. Okay, bye. Don't tell me she said you've got to stay in unless Max comes back. Oh, well, there goes our pizza. Mm, and the film. Unless we get hold of Max. How many tickets you got rid of? Great. Looks like we're on course tonight. Oh, don't leave that phone tonight, OK? That's hope you're ringing millions. Well, I got not millions, not this time. Save that up, eh? I'm seeing about that. It's all in the control. Do you think I haven't thought of that? I'm not dealing with Divi here, you know. Yeah. You know, kid? That will put uh -huh. ears on your chest, mate. God. Makes me a sheila oh. was still again. I know, yeah. It's quiet without him, isn't it? Right. <sighs> Not yet, but it will be. Mm. Right, then, looks like we're in business. Don't worry, that's sorted. I've got 20 Arnie Schwartz and niggas turning up, haven't I? There'll be no trouble. I'll see you. You know what? 
Our phone bill's gonna be incredible. You're not kidding. Oh, yeah. Any of that left? No. There's some beans in the pan. It's not our job to feed him, you know. I've paid him money into the kids, he does. Enough, though. Enough for me, man. That was before you started hammering the phone, wasn't it? Hey, yeah, listen, there. Uh, you planning something there, Baz? What's it to you? But I know the signs, mate. Yeah, only I make them work, Jimmy. Hey, listen, buddy. Your mum's not here anymore, is she? Yeah, thanks to stupid them. Yeah, well, there's no reason to stay, is there? Your half asked me to stay, Rod. Yeah, well, he's gone now, hasn't he? I'm the man of the house. Right, I'm me. Right. Oh, so, uh, he's asking me to go, then, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the answer's no. Listen, this is a corkill house. Yeah, and my ma's a corkill now, whether we want it or not. Yeah, but she's gone, hasn't she? He all is Tracy, isn't he? Tell him. Stinky. You've been busy. Come and have a look at this lot. Setting up shop, are you? Harry must have been ordering these for years. Oh, yeah, he was a hoarder, all right. Vitamins, tonic, Bob Martins. I think they were for Monty. <laughs> 45's the over 40s. Looks like they've been here for years. A long time since Harry's seen 40. Yeah. Bin. Uh, we're gonna get any tea tonight. We could paint this lot yellow. Nice bright colour, isn't it? Oh, I haven't got any money for paint. Oh, look. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> like playing doll's houses. Better than a doll's house, I hope. Oh, Mick, this is great. It's the nicest place you've ever lived in. We're gonna be happy here. I hope so. Thanks for bringing us. Hey! hey. Oh, sorry. Ah. Mm. <laughs> I'm really sorry about this, Margaret. You know how it is. These things all seem to blow up unexpectedly. They do, don't they? I don't know why Richard can't cope with it himself. He seems to think my presence is essential. We were going to go to the pictures. Oh, there's still time for Max to get home. Not much. This dinner's not pleasure, you know. It's work. Uh, the marketing director of one of our clients has just changed companies. I'm hoping his promotion will mean my promotion too. How? Well, the company he's moved to is one of the biggest in the area. If I can persuade them to give us their account, it'll be a real plus for us. Or rather, for Richard. Well, that's not fair. Hmm, you think I don't know that? Unfortunately, it's the name of the game. And I'll have to work twice as hard and be twice as good. Oh, I'm sure you will. Not to mention dress three times as well. This is my persuading dress. What do you think? It's lovely. Fine line to tread. I had to be both businesslike and, well, you know, <laughs> my cab. Tell Max to expect me when he sees me. All right for her, isn't it? Must be brilliant having a job like that. What about our night out? Mm. Try Max again. Oh, I've been trying him all day. I've done everything except call the police. Haven't you heard of Robert the Bruce? What? Never give up. Your fella? Could be. I see. Look, you know, it's nothing. Didn't look like nothing. Well, you know, easy come, easy go. I'm not looking to settle down. I know that. Listen, buddy, it's my business. Wish it was mine. Going backwards, you know, at least I didn't pretend. No, he didn't. You found someone else? I'm particular, you know. Well, so am I. 
Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant, you know, there isn't many around like you, is there? Me too. But why not, then? Because we want different things. We did and we still do. Well, you'll want to settle down one day. Yeah, I will one day, but not now. But when I do, I hope it's someone like you. It doesn't have to be like this, you know. It does. Look, you're 11 years older than me. I know it doesn't seem like much, but it is. We've just missed each other. It's my fault, and I pushed you too hard. I don't blame you. I thought we had something really special going for us. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I wanted it, you know. You and the baby and the... Still do, I suppose. Yeah, but I don't. Yeah, I know you don't. But you'll get lucky. Oh, thanks. I well, this is one thing. We're related now. Don't lose touch. Yeah, that's something, isn't it? Hey, you're my big brother. I was that right? Well, if you're my little sister, you better stay out of trouble, haven't you? It's my life. Nice one, Trace. Yeah, you too. Oh, I want his mum and dad. There's normally one of them here at bedtime. Yeah, well, you've done all you can. There's nothing else you could do. <sighs> Sorry about spoiling our night out. Oh, don't worry about it. We've got this video now. Yeah, no ice cream, though. I'll have to see what I can manage. Right, there's vodka, gin, wine. No, thanks. It's OK. Living in means I live here. They don't mind. No, it's not that. I just don't like the taste. I don't like the strong ones, either. Sweet sherry's OK, though. Do you want some? I'll just have an orange juice, please. With a bit of gin? No, look, I don't want anything. Forget it. Are we watching this video? Yes, yeah, plenty of time. Oh, come on, then. Do you want me to go halves on this? No, it's all right. Hey, if this happens much more, I'll be a video expert. You shouldn't let them take advantage of you, you know. Well, it's worth it for Thomas. Hello. Hiya, oh, yeah, this is Sammy. Uh, next door but one, am I right? Shouldn't you be out? Uh, we're babysitting. Oh, uh, Patricia's working late. Yeah, I tried to get you. I'd been out. I know. We was going to go to the pictures. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Your dinner's in the fridge, two minutes in the microwave. Right. Oh, well, you can always go out now. Hey, no, it's all right. The pictures have already started. We're all right with this now anyway, so long as I do get my night off. Of course. Oh, well, my dad will be making you join the union. <laughs> Saves waiting for buses, doesn't it? We used to have a video, but when my dad had to sell it, no one lost his job. Hey, we could do this every week, couldn't we? Yeah. For me. I'll get it. It'll be for me, Jim. Oh, I can't hear you. Hello? Yeah, Betty Grant, yeah, who's here? Who is he? Come Steph? On. What have you had the operation or something? Steph, and it is. Give us it here. Steph. Look, I'm sounded on a business here, Jim. Yeah, I don't know it. Hello? Uh, in private. Right. Hello? What? Hey, look, I'm paying you to sort out problems like this. All right, we'll give it him. I mean, what's 50 quid for the money we're... we're making? All right. All right, well, g yeah, get it. How's the phone calls going? Sound. Who are we expecting? Nice one. We'll look around you, Rob. All right, yeah. It's not up to us to feed right, everybody, we'll see you know. Who's doing night? the cooking? What yeah, is he I... up to, mate? Will you leave him alone, both of you? Listen, I'll tell you something. Whatever it is, he's going to make a mince. Do you know that? Yeah, well, I don't want to know. Yeah, he won't count me in on it, though, you know. I, d I don't understand why you have people like him as members of the family in the first place. It's not my choice, though, is it, Jim? Will you sit down? Oh. 
You're a stupid you anyway. Hey, hey, leave her alone. Why don't you leave her? It's nothing to do with you anymore. Yeah, blood is thicker than water. That's not true. I don't know why you're bothering with him. You've got a fella now, haven't you? He's my brother. Yeah, that'll be for me. Hello? Yeah. Hey, now listen, you. Get that sorted. Cos if you don't, I'll sort you to there. Yeah, said I. Oh, yeah. Going off riding the range again, are we? I might be, Jimmy, yeah. I might be. Hello? You are? It's all fixed. Everything. Child, I'll talk to you later. Not there. What? Thomas, he's not in bed. Oh, Margaret must have beaten us to it. Oh, so much for giving her a lion to make up for last night. Well, we'll have to make sure that she gets time off at the weekend then. We? Who was the one that was home late? I didn't see you here when I came in. At least I said I'd be out. Well, it's not to me you didn't. If I'd have known, I'd have come home. Oh, thank goodness Margaret lives in. I was right about that, wasn't I? Well, I'm not so sure. Why not? It's a lot cheaper, and she doesn't knock off at 5.30. Always here. What we want. Is it? I couldn't even sit in my own chair last night when I came home. There were girls all over the place. Well, don't blame Margaret for that. If you got home in time, she could have gone out. How would you like it if you had to spend the whole evening in the kitchen? <laughs> well, why didn't you tell them to go and watch the telly upstairs? That's why we bought Margaret her own set. They got a video. Are we supposed to buy her own video machine as well? Oh, it's an idea. I don't believe this. I thought having someone in was supposed to be cheaper than paying by the hour. It is, by a long way, and it's a lot cheaper than having me at home. Oh, what are you doing in here? Oh, wait Deciding whether I've got time for a run. Oh. Well, I've given Thomas his breakfast. You enjoyed it, didn't you? Well, if he didn't, the kitchen floor certainly did. <laughs> now we're going to get some clothes on. I'm really sorry about last night, Margaret. We'll make sure it doesn't happen again. You're all right. We enjoyed it. It's cheaper than going to the pictures. <laughs> You're entitled to time off. We might do it again sometime. No. Looks like we'll be buying another video machine. Right, here's what's happening. What do you think this is? Army manoeuvres. Look, I want anything to go right, don't I? Who's getting there when? You're gonna be lucky. Look, I've put everything half an hour in front so nobody's late. Yeah, especially the bouncers. I'm not expecting any trouble. It should be money for our rope, this. Still going well, is it? Phone lines are still buzzing. Well, just so long as they passed on the right number. I've checked, haven't I? And they know the left from the right. Nice. You better get down there, see what's happening. Hey, who knows it? Hey, just me and the sparks. But by tonight, every teenager for 30 miles. 30? Yes. Morning. All right. Having something delivered? Eh, uh, well, not exactly, no. Only loads of loot. 
Oh, selling it. Eh, uh, well, borrowing it, sort of. Well, that's what my putting it. Oh, well, standing around here won't keep the old heart pumping. Don't you get chased by dogs? I outrun them, which is more than you could do. What a divvy. I thought he's nothing to do with me. Hey, you're not mates with him, are you? He just lives around here, doesn't he? Well, as long as you haven't given him a ticket. Look, I haven't got enough to worry about without bothering him. Now, get on the... Getting behind schedule, are we? Yeah. Right. Do you know what I stand to lose? If this doesn't work out. You said it was all sorted. Yeah, well, I hope it is. Have you seen the time? All right, all right. I don't want him being late. Leo. Look. Oh, no. Just wait till your dad sees that. What are you doing? Making a pattern. Is that a toy? It is now. Look, son, those red dots are bills. Billy. <laughs> you make well last. Look, bills is when we switch the lights on. It's not dark. No, I know it isn't. But when it is, we do. And every time we do, it costs money. I haven't earned any pocket money this week. Are you listening to me? Every time it costs money, we get a bill. Is that bill? No, it isn't. Yeah. But those red dots are, so we just leave it alone, will you? Yeah, your customer. Oh, yeah? It's a nice toy, isn't it? It's not a toy. Um, Patricia sent me round. She wants a lift. She got up late. It's lucky having a taxi next door. Hey, what about Leo? I'll take him after. No time. I'm sorry if it's awkward. It's all right. She would have rung you, but she hasn't got your number. She wants to know if you've got any of those business card things. No. All we could do is some. Put them in phone boxes and that. Look, they cost money. Worth it, innit? Have some done and some leaflets and put it through doors. Yeah, and who's going to pay for this? You've got to take risks, haven't you? It's nice here, isn't it? Yeah, if you like eating off your knees. Don't worry. I'll soon get it sorted. Look at that. It's nice, isn't it? Well, this is supposed to be a decent residential area. Cheers the place up. Well, the sooner it goes, the better. You're all right, by the way. Will it? will take you. Oh. Mm. <laughs> all right, you don't mind if we take them, do you? I've got a train to catch. Oh, that's all right. We're never on time anyway, are we? See you later. I'm surprised you've not got her own car. So she. It's because he's got another wife. Bigger miss, is he? Divorced. <laughs> and they've got kids, and that's why Max and Patricia can't afford a bigger house. That's a lovely house. Mm. And that's why she's still going to work. Oh, well, I wouldn't mind a job. <laughs> yeah. At least we don't have a train to catch. Ugh. And a wage packet. Oh. Plenty of things you need when you've got a new house. Is your furniture still not come? My furniture's not come in. We used to live in a furnished flat. Oh. Oh, well, that's nice. You'll be able to start afresh, won't you? Oh, can't wait. Do you think that's him? Imu? Sammy's boyfriend. Gorgeous. I just thought so ten years ago. <laughs> She's lucky having a boyfriend like that. Hiya. Oh, you're in, are you? Of course, I mean, you said you were coming, didn't you? Well, it doesn't always seem to work like that, does it? What about when you leave all these messages saying you'll be in at such and such a time? And when I ring, you never hear. Yeah, well, I can't be here all the time, can I? Sammy, you never hear any of the time. Anyone would think it was your owl fella that was going out with the amount of times I've spoken to him? Yeah, well, I'm a working girl now. Time's not my own. Oh, so, um, what did he do? Change to the beds or just lock you in overnight? Funny. Sounds more like slavery to me. Oh, look, is this what you've come for, to have a go at me? No. I've come round to see you. I haven't half missed you, you know. Are you all right, your legs and that? Yeah, I'm sound. Still a few odd twinges, like, you know. Ah! Oh. What's the matter? Does it hurt? Oh, uh, the wind must be in the west. You're kidding. Yeah, I'm all right. As long as I don't stand up for a long time, you know. And guess what? I've signed off the Aussie, too. Oh, that's great. So now, um, we can put the past behind us, can't we? Forget all about that crash. You hitting the bottle. Everything. Let's make a fresh start, eh, me and you? Yeah. It's the middle of nowhere. It's great, isn't it? I'm getting the punters clear directions. You're not going to make much if they all get lost. Look, it's not my fault you've got no sense of direction, is it? Hey, is there any road round here any different from any other? 
Right, this place has been abandoned since World War One. Yeah, well, at least the neighbours won't complain, will they? Yeah, the rats might. Look, what do you want? Five stars and room service. Why knows? Look, who'll notice in the dark? And like you say, it's the music that matters, and that's down to you. Hey, uh, we did say 500, didn't we? <laughs> 250. Well, like you said, it's the music that matters. Did I? Five. Three. Four. Well, you better make it worth it. Hey. Hey, what's that doing there? Keeping us out. This should have been sorted by now. Looks like we're not the only ones locked out. Anybody in there? Plan breaking down, is it? Hey, come on, get up, you lazy get. Where's your lift, then? The security guy. Somewhere around here. You mean you don't know? Well, I only met him here, didn't I? And you gave him the money up front? Well, he had to. No name, no address. Look, I'll sort him out later. So, we can't get in. Can now. Huh. Right then, move your arm. Oh, very funny. Now, it's uh, safe from the left and clear from the right. Well, it's never like that down at our chippy. Yeah, that's because the chippies know nothing. I thought you were a chambermaid. I'm a trainee, so therefore they show you everything. Well, I'll tell you one thing that I'm learning fast. If you want to go to one of them posh places for a scoff, you better have a good chip butty before you start. It's this stupid toast. I mean, it's easier with meat and veg. Now, what do you think? Very impressive. Yeah, well, that's the idea anyway. <laughs> Now, right, you only have a little bit of this to start off with. Oh, by the way, I'm a different person now. Oh, well, you could have fooled me. I mean, I'm a different waiter, seeing as there's only me like. Oh. Right, smell it. <laughs> oh, and I said smell it. That's all you need to do. All right. Now, is everything all right, sir? It's absolutely marvellous, thank you. Hey, how are things at the hotel, you know, with the drink and all that? All right, why shouldn't it be? Well, you know. <sighs> We're supposed to be having a nice time, and what you going to do? Sorry I spoke. <sighs> this is lovely, this. What's it called? Fromage the pan. Speciality, the house. Well, it sure beats caviar any day. Um, give my compliments to the chef, will you please, dear? Busy, haven't you? Getting ready for the new carpet. The what? I've been shopping. Oh, don't start all that again, Josie. Oh, what? You know what I mean? Being all foolish with money. It won't cost you a penny. Yeah, and how do you make that out? Because I'm paying for it. <sighs> and I've ordered a table and chairs. They come in tomorrow. Have you gone mad? Stop worrying. I said I'll pay for it. Oh, yeah, come up on the pools, have you? Very funny. Got myself a job starting tomorrow. Oh, I don't believe this. Do it yourself, shop. Means we get all our paint and that cheap. And I finish at half past three so I can pick Leo up. Oh, hang on. Um, what about Gemma? Well, she'll be back at Auntie Lou's like a homing pigeon. I don't know, be more pleased. Oh. Look, how can you get Leo? You were only saying yesterday that the school's too far. It was, wasn't it? Hey, look at this lot. For God's sake, Josie. It's great, isn't it? Oh, he looks really good, Leo, in his little jumper. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. This is for Leo. This small for you, isn't it? A school uniform. What else? Well, he doesn't need a school uniform. He does now, because I changed his school. Couldn't keep expecting you to run him, could I? Just like that. I asked, didn't I? Went round the new school and put his name down. And, uh, what do I think about all this? You think this is great? You'd have asked me, couldn't you? He's my kid too, you know. I know. But you have care and control of the kids. Besides, I was just passing. You don't mind him going to a better school, do you? But at least if I do, isn't it? We're living here now, and Leo's really made up. 
really fancies himself in his little tie. <laughs> can't believe it. A kid of mine in a school uniform. What's wrong with ordinary clothes? These are ordinary clothes. What's the difference except they're all a special colour? Oh, we can't afford school uniforms, Josie. We've got to buy clothes anyway. This way, we only buy one lot. And we get an extra five minutes in bed every morning. Oh, yeah. Look. One short, one blazer, one jumper. Simple. Now, all he has to do is put them on in the morning. He knows what he's wearing. I know what he's wearing. None of this, I want my red one, I want my yellow one. <laughs> You're really enjoying this, aren't you? Every minute. <laughs> Yeah, it will be. What time we start? About half an hour, I hope. <laughs> Sending search parties out then. Don't be stupid. They'll turn up. But if they don't, I hope you like Lucas Ed. How does one child get through this much washing? Do you change his clothes every hour? No, sorry. He was playing out in the back garden today. He got a bit mucky. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> I'm not complaining. You know, I like him to look nice. <laughs> Delicates. Easy care or minimum iron. Baby wash. I don't believe this. No, there is one, honestly. Only it's not for stuff like that. It's really hot, you know, for nappies and things. The days before the blessed disposable. Plumber got here all right, I hope. Um, no. Well, how are we supposed to manage with three people and a baby and no washing machine? Well, he didn't know what he was doing anyway. It's all right. I'll, I'll sort it out. No need. Oh, don't be silly, Margaret. We can't wash everything through by hand. I fixed it. You? Well, it was only a cold water hose hadn't been fixed on properly. <laughs> well, how come you know so much about cold water hoses? My dad taught me. Plumbing, electrics, decorating, he loves it. Well, that plumber can whistle for his money, then. We've got a little gem here. Mm. Are you any good at cars? Not bad. My dad reckoned anybody should be able to fix anything. Uh, horses for courses? Mm. What? I mean, I'll stick to my job and let other people do theirs. And it means we're both very grateful to you and your dad. from here to Yorkshire. It's like what they say about school. Hard work, you earn loads of money. Hard work? There's in a few tickets. Listen, it was hard work having the idea. It was hard work having a bottle to get it going, wasn't it? But Teddy only knew what was happening. What? Oh, nothing. Look, is everyone having a good time? That looks like it, doesn't it? Hey, it makes you wish you were 17 again. <laughs> what I got? Here you go, what I? Looks like you've done all right. Yeah, they're not bad for the first attempt, eh? Thinking of uh, doing it again, are you? Actually, I'm working on the publicity already. Ah, they're not going to be listening. What's this uh, place missing, do you think? Not like it, Shay. A bit of excitement. What? And I've got college tomorrow. Oh, yeah, how's it going, all that? Oh, it's all right. It's that weird going back a year, though. They seem dead young. They're only a year younger than you. I know, but they haven't been in Aussie, have they? Doesn't have to change you. Yeah. Especially when you don't know if you're going to be okay again. Yeah, but you're all okay, aren't you? <sighs> yeah. It's weird, you know. When I'm sitting down on my chair, 
when I get up, my legs move. It's like a miracle. So, um, no need to feel sorry for me anymore, have you? I don't. I mean, going out with me because of all what's happened. I don't want us just hanging on, Sammy. We're not. Are you sure? Look, we've been all right today, haven't we? It's been great. I really enjoyed it. So why can't we just go on like this? Well, we can go on like this. What we can't do is go on the way we were. Never seeing each other. You not picking the phone up to me. Look, I've told you, I've been busy. Are you going to carry on being busy? I don't know, do I? You know what I mean, Sam. I'll not be busy. Are you sure now? <laughs> Look, stop going on. All right. Next week, then. What? Friday. Pick you up and take you to town, eh? Yeah, all right, why not? Sort it, then. Kiss a kiss. <laughs> See ya. See ya. something funny. Here we are. Well, how about catching up on the news? Who cares? Well, looks like you'll be needing this then. All right. See ya. Good night. Think she's all right? Oh, she's probably as glad of a bit of peace as we are. Well, at least she's good with Thomas. That's the main thing. And washing machines. You were right. This is going to work out. I was the one that didn't want somebody living in. Oh, not about Margaret. I mean, the house. It will suit us. Nice neighbours. Hmm, so long as we don't let Thomas see too much of their kids. And keep straying hands out of my shed. <laughs> <sighs> remember, remember when we used to do this in the car when I was supposed to be working late? <laughs> Frightened in case anyone saw us. It was exciting, though. Why don't we go and sit in the car? <laughs> no need. Anyway, look what it led to last time. Divorce. Thomas. Thomas was just the excuse. I had to tell Susanna sometime. I was suffocating. <sighs> you don't regret him, do you? Even if we didn't plan it. Of course not. I regret Susanna, though. Oh, the names she called me. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I shouldn't have let her anywhere near you. I'd do the same if there was ever anyone else. No, there wouldn't be anybody else. Getting married twice is quite enough. <laughs> is that the only reason? Well, this time I got it right. <laughs> what was that? Margaret? He was outside. Did you hear something? Sounded like an explosion. Well, how could it be? Oh, my God! What is it? Looks like a travelling circus. going on? Squatters?
Hey, sweetie, you don't swap uniforms, do you? And one for me. Mm hmm. Oh, it's good. And one for you. One for me. Oh, great. Daddy is a messy little so-and-so, isn't he? You should have left that for Margaret to do. Left what for me to do? Feed Thomas. Dr Spock over there has got more down his shirt than he has in the baby's mouth. There's no harm done. Hey, what's wrong with a proud father spilling his little boy's breakfast down his shirt once in a while? Hey? There you go. Won't be long before you can tie a real tie yourself, innit? And once you've tied a tie, you'll be able to go for the girls, ain't you? Yeah. Hey, he's got his man for now. Go on, darling, give us a twirl. No, oh, you look great. Tom. <laughs> Dead handsome, just like your dad. Just like me dad. When he was young and worth bothering with. Hey, you, you won't get your lift to the shops in a minute. Oh, won't I? No, you won't. Yeah. There's a cup for them. Oh, <laughs> I'm clean. Get him, Leo. <laughs> Don't fight me. Get the one in the hamburger and mustard tablecloth. Thanks. <laughs> I don't need you to tell me I look like something you could eat a picnic off. Can we have a picnic? Well, only if you and your mum behave yourselves. Because today's a big day for the both of you. I mean, the first day at a new school for you. And the first day in a new job for me. So your mum's going to have to sell as many nuts and bolts as she can. And you're going to be a good lad for your new teacher, aren't you? Is that a deal, son? Yeah. And you're going to make loads of new mates, aren't you? Yeah. You'll be yeah. top of the class. Top of the class? Yes! Yes! Oh, <laughs> come. Oh, come down Daddy's front. Nah, but Daddy doesn't care, does he? No, because Daddy thinks it's all right to go to work with the rusks all down your front. <laughs> yeah, I'll do those. You want to both end up covered in rusk, dear? Mm, great. I'll grab another coffee. There's a list there of some things we need. Could you? Yeah, no problem. Oh, is that a food list, dear? Yes, dear. You do know we're out of blue cheese, don't you? It's down on the list, dear. Ah, but does Margaret know where... Where to get your precious blue cheese? The name and address of your favourite little deli is down on the list. Don't panic. Don't you think my wife is an incredible model of efficiency, catering for my every whim? She runs a life like a finely tuned engine. Well, if it's an engine you're in love with, you should have married a Porsche. No, no. The alimony would have been astronomical. Oh, planning a second divorce now, are we? Not in a million years. <coughs> Don't think they've got a Porsche next door, have they? Not exactly familiar with the noise pollution laws either, by the sound of it. Well, there's bound to be a bit of noise removing in and everything. Mm, bound to be what's removal, vans, car horns, bogus burglar alarms. There is a subtle difference between a genuine wiring problem and that pandemonium. Right now, Max, what's the rising blood pressure? You know, Margaret, how or why I put up with this abuse, I, I just don't know. Don't believe a word of it. Max is a masochist at heart. He likes nothing better than a bit of abuse. I wonder how many children they'll have. Oh, Max's noise polluters. Mm, be nice to have a few more kids around the class. Better than us old fogies. Well, if it's kids you want, you're in luck. Why's that? I've been in touch with Susanna and she's okayed it for my two to come and stay next weekend. Oh, great stuff. So, we'll have to hit the Sainsbury's junk food department with a vengeance. You didn't tell me Susanna had rung again? She didn't. I rang her. You didn't tell me that either. I just told you now. When? Just now. No. When did you ring the first Mrs. Farnham? Uh, the other day sometime. Uh, Margaret, will you see to Thomas? Yes, yeah, sure. Come on, then. Oh! Mm. So, I don't get a consult on this, then. Yeah, of course you do. It's just that I, I didn't see a problem. But, but if you don't ask, how can you know what's planned for the weekend? Well, I planned a visit to the Odeon or Chicken McNuggets myself. But what if I had to work? Well, that's no problem. I have played the divorced dad on Sunday at McDonald's routine before, you know. Oh, great. So the kids can go home to Susanna and tell her that the wicked stepmother couldn't be bothered to take them out. It's not like that, and you know it. Look, I've got to get stuff ready for work. Look, we could talk about it later, if you like. I'd rather have talked earlier. Hey, 
Come here, then, babe. Now, you sure you'll be all right? Yeah. You're going to have a great day, aren't you, champ? Too right. There's a good lad. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Go on, then, mate. Don't want a late mark on your first morning. See you later tonight, then. Bye. Ta-ra. I can't believe how made up he is. I really thought changing schools would be a problem. Got off lightly, didn't we? No traumas, no nothing. Not even about having to wear a school uniform. Yeah, unlike some. Funny ha-ha. Come on, babe. You'll be queen of DIY in a fortnight. It's not the work, sweetheart. I'm looking forward to the job and the money and everything. But who wants to look like a sheet of graph paper day in, day out? Hey, you look great in a soggy old cardboard box, as far as I'm concerned. Get in. Don't strain yourself. What? Like you, you mean? Hey, I've been moving stuff all morning. Oh, big head, I've only been here for ten minutes. So, you haven't done a tap? Yeah, well, the longer we take to get everything inside the house, the more days we get off school to do it. Hey, Elvis, who said anything about a tea break? Economy of effort, Mark. Yeah, well, that's enough economy. Now, let's see some effort. And where is our Tony? I think he's messing around on his skatey. Anthony, here, now! What are we doing for brekkie, love? Nothing, until I can see a bit of grass. Right, come on, kids, you heard your mother. What do you want doing, then? Well, for the start, you can start putting my stock back on the van, if you like. I've got one more load to bring down here in a the wagon. Then I'll have to take the shop out. What? And leave us to do all this shifting. Hey, what do you think's paying for all this gear? Yeah. Who asked you? I asked myself. Hey, Dad, couldn't I drive the Moby round today? Oh, all right. What weight like? With me hands and feet. And no licence or insurance. <laughs> well, you let me drive the wagon here, didn't you? Now, hey, Nigel Manslow, that was an emergency. And what if I'd crashed? Well, you didn't. So button it. Tony! Come, Ed. What's our Tony doing? Oh, I don't know. Maybe there's a skateboard park under there or something. Go to our school, don't he? Your school, you mean? Yeah, I think the girls in the year below me. Yeah, I think that Mike's in the same year as me as well. So it's your school now, is it? Oh, shut up. What's he go up in there, anyway? Don't know. Maybe he likes the scenery. What are you staring at? I'll tell you when I found out. Is our Tony still swinging the lead? Tony Dixon! Tony? Tony, are you deaf? Oh, my good God. We're surrounded. Hiya. Debbie Dixon. Dee Dee. Um, Patricia Farnham, and th this is my husband, Max. Oh, Pat, hey, that's funny. i got a sister, Pat. No, Patricia. Oh, whatever. What's up, love? Oh, come and meet the neighbours. Pat and Max. This is me fella, Ron. All right. What is, uh... Yeah, I know, it's crazy, isn't it, mate? It took us all weekend to pack that lot up, just to unload it all again now. And I've still got to make another pick-up yet. No, 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 I mean that... vehicle. What, Moby? Moby? Yeah, Moby. We mobile shop. Moby for short. Do you get it? <laughs> it's even got a whale on the side. Mobile shop? Yeah, have you stuck for anything? Just ask. Hey, special discount for next-door neighbours, you know. Come on, Max, we're going to be late for work. Right. Yeah, better be making tracks myself. Won't keep the bail if I wait chin wagon all day, eh, Maxie? Oh, another bag of sand. Can I do that somewhere else? Like where? I don't know, anywhere out of my sight. No. Oh, come on, will you? Just pack it in. I packed them in on Thursday. That's why I'm laughing now. Well, why don't you go next door and do your laughing, eh, Peter Stringfeller? I've got things to do. Tell you, you can't have anything better to do than watch this. What? What are you counting money? Yeah, counting my money. I'm rubbing my nose in it. Well, you know my motto, don't you, sir? You win some, and then you win some more. Oh, 
come on, clear up, will you? I want to get the tea ready. Why? What are we having? I didn't think you'd be interested. I mean, I got rid of all the caviar on Saturday night. Now, Terry, never let it be said that I've lost sight of my roots. I can ship something. Oh, hey, I've got nothing in. It's all right, sir. I'll see you to a Chinese. No, it's all right. I don't want to get in the way of your profit margin. Hey, Terry, you had your chance, didn't you? Story of my life. You should have seen it. Yeah, I should have seen it, shouldn't I? There was millions of them. It was shocking. Great. And not one of them bunked in. Do you know that? Lucky you. Well, I've told you. You've got to make your own luck, haven't you? So I've heard. Terry, you've got to speculate to accumulate. Yeah, but if you've got nothing to speculate with, you're not going to accumulate nothing, are you? Oh, I can't wait for the next one. The next one? Yeah. It's going to be bigger, better and more Brewsters. And who are you going to bribe this time? Whoever it takes. You're going to get the busy to raid it again? Probably the riot squad this time, Terry. Where are you going to have it? I don't know yet, but whatever it is, it's going to be five times bigger than the last one. Do you reckon? I'm telling you. I don't, er... Uh, I don't suppose you, you want someone to give you that hand with the next one, will you? I don't know about that. Probably need a few more people on the door and that. Be cash in hand, sir. What a bouncer. No, um, I'm selling the Lucas aid. Forget it. Why, what's up, sir? Nothing. Are you, erm, um, thinking of putting some money into this one? Well, yeah. And you're not, erm, um, gonna pull your money out at the last minute like you did last time? No. I see. Well, what do you reckon, then? What about? Well, about me putting some money into the next warehouse, do? I'll think about it. Now. Oh, thanks, Jack. Oh. Are you worn out yet? I'm all right. Oh, but there's still loads to do, though. I think we might have to have a day of school tomorrow. You need to finish shifts and everything. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I think so. And what are them hooligan brothers of yours up to? Oh, skiving, probably. Oh, we'll hide in here for a while, eh? Yeah. Oh, Jack, read us my stars for us, will you? OK, Virgo. Today you should take the chance to get away from it all. It is a time to relax. <laughs> and don't be scared to splash an house on yourself. <laughs> Oh, do be scared to splash out on yourself. Hey, circle that in red for your dad, will you, and leave it on his pillow tonight. Oh, OK. Do you want a sandwich or anything? Oh, the food's still on your dad's van. Mm. Might as well hang on. He won't be long now. So, would you make a brook's eye closer? I think we can lick it into shape, love. Don't you? Davey on the moose bike was gawping at us for about an hour this morning. What are you? Yeah, me and her, Sam. You mean he was gawping at your Sammy? Well, yeah, I suppose so. She was all made up. What's you after him, then? No. Bad Billy Brill, green head or what? <laughs> Think he'd save up and buy some shampoo, don't you? Maybe wait until he fixed the bath. What's the bath for, anyway? Well, I don't know. Maybe they're gonna keep a crocodile in it. Oh, aye. Crocodile done Dixon, eh? Have you seen the girl? What, Jackie? How do you know her name? Here to the ground, mate. Tip of the van. Never mind the van, anyway. What about this Jackie? Well, she's not bad for a kid. Cradle snatch, yeah. She's probably only a few months younger than us. Look, mate, I think a man of your status should be aiming a bit higher. Higher? Oh, the older women on the... Higher. Who like? And what about her, the nanny? Margaret. Well, she must like younger lads, you know, being a nanny and that. I want a girlfriend, not a babysitter. Look, mate, the older woman is good for your image, believe you me. She's probably already going out with someone. No chance. In a strange town. In that white slave trade job. She probably hasn't even set outside the door yet. Well, she's been round to ours with our Sammy for the start. Well, here you go, then. Why don't you get in there while you've got the chance? I spent about ten minutes looking for some sort of dish mop when this fella turns round and tells me that a cup washer is a stupid bit of metal about this big. <laughs> yeah, case you, Josie. <laughs> yeah, head case. So you enjoy that anyway? Yeah. Yeah, the other girl in the shop was funny. Yeah. Hey, get off you. 
These are for our new neighbours. A bit over the top, isn't it? We well, probably haven't got the cooker fitted yet or anything. Well, what about your poor starving fella? I'm only on my tea break and I'll be out on the cab hustling till all hours. You know where the fridge is, don't you? Oh, great, isn't it? Second best to some motley crew that you don't even know from Adam. Just being friendly. Anyway, while I take this over, you can do the kids something to eat, can you? Oh, yes. Peanut butter and marmite sarnies, our favourite. Listen, babe, don't be surprised if Leo doesn't... Well, just don't expect him to be doing cartwheels because you're making his favourite sarni. Why, what's up? Don't know. You won't tell me? I thought it was a bit of a quiet since I've been in. I picked him up at school before and I haven't been able to get a peep out of him. Why don't you tell me? I don't want you worrying on the road, do I? Hey, we share the worrying round here, remember? Yeah, I know. Yeah, watch this. Leo, come here, mate. This always works. Do you want a butty, mate? I'm not hungry. Peanut butter and marmite. I told you. Hey, mate. Mum says you've been really quiet since you've been home. Is there anything the matter? Nothing. Anything wrong at school? Hey, look, you can tell us, you know. You know, your ma's only doing them butties for the new neighbours over the road so that she can get them to tell her all their secrets. So if you and me have our favourite sarnies, then maybe you can tell me what's the matter. It's a never-ending story job, this, isn't it? Uh, you're the man who brought everything, including the kitchen sink. Hey, that's worth a few bob, that bath, I'm telling you. It's an investment, isn't it? Cast iron brass fittings. I'd have been a fool to leave that behind. Oh, an absolute fool. You'll see one day. I hope so. There's no hope about it. Anyway, how did your round go today? <sighs> it was hard grafty. Actually, I should have stayed off, you know, and got this lot sorted properly. Mm. We'll get it sorted. But eventually. Anybody home? <laughs> I thought you might want a snack. Oh, you shouldn't. Have. Thanks very much. Right. Thanks a lot. It's just an excuse, really, to come and say hello. I'm Josie. Oh, I'm Dee Dee. Oh, hi. Hiya. And this is Ron. Hi, hiya. Ron. <laughs> hey, you should have taken these in and put the um, kettle on. Yeah. <sighs> You're in the bungalow, aren't you? Yeah. Huh? Is your husband on the taxis? Oh, yeah. He's with Terry, your next door neighbour. Mm. I'd run a mobile shop myself. I didn't think it was there, Emma. Hey, that'll be handy on a Sunday night when I'm stuck for something to eat. Hey, Anita. Yeah. <laughs> God, you got some hobbies going, you and you? Only one, really. Buying and selling stuff, love. See this? Me Mersey Mart, otherwise known as the Dixon Bible. Oh, bargain and tree. Correct. And I like doing old things up, you know, and swapping stuff. Never buy something when you can swap something for it. That's my motto. You'll have to come and have a look at that lot in our path. Oh. Yeah, an old man's furniture. There's a piano and all sorts there. How do you fancy a piano, Mike? Yeah, sound. A piano, eh? Amongst other things, yeah. Hey, listen, why don't you go on in, love? Dee Dee will give you the guided tour. I'm just going to move my van, you know. All right, Maxie. What is that doing there? Ah, uh, no sweat, mate. We got a bit blocked in before, you know, with that lot on the road. So, uh, I'll put Moby up your path. Without permission? Permission? You can't go around using somebody's private driveway as a municipal car park. Come on, Max. I'm sure Mr Dixon will move his van. Yeah, yeah, I will, love. Only I did ask you now. Ask who? Your baby minder, Margaret. She said it'd be OK. Margaret? Come on, Max. Did you give permission for that thing to be parked in our driveway? Yeah, they had no room on their path. Well, next time, don't! I'm sorry. Oh, come on, Max. Margaret wasn't to know. Well, she should have. Good God, it's bad enough discovering that you're living next door to some sort of cross between Jed Clampett and Captain Ahab without coming home to find his jalopy has invaded your parking space. OK? Hello, who's that? Oh, Sammy Rogers. Why? I'll tell you when you're 21. Cheeky devil. All right, Sammy. All right. Sorry, I don't know your name. Oh, it's Jimmy. Jimmy Jacobs. No, it's not. 
Okay, so it's Mike Dixon. I thought you didn't know. Maybe I just remembered. Maybe. Been to work? Maybe. What was school like today? Oh, it'll have been terrible. Why is that? So it didn't go in. Oh, yeah, they'll be heartbroken. What can I say? Anyway, have you got a cup of sugar I can borrow? What? That's what new neighbours are meant to come over and ask, isn't it? I wouldn't have. Oh, are yeah. It's all part of the etiquette of moving in. You know, saying the right thing to the right person. Oh, and that's the right thing to say to me, yeah? Probably not, no. Well, what is? Something like, um, what are you doing Friday night? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Well, probably exactly that. So you've just come over to a new neighbour and asked them out, would you? Why not? It's the best way to get to know someone. And you just expect them to say yeah, just like that? Not breaking any laws. Well, what if they're already doing something on Friday night? I'd say, make it Saturday then, unless they were already spoken for. Oh, and what would happen then? I'd wait. If you were a chocolate, I think you'd eat yourself. So are you going to be a good neighbour then? Maybe. I'll see you Friday then. Maybe, sure. Yeah, it's me. Um, listen, I thought I'd better phone you. I haven't been well. I, I got sent home from work today to go to the doctors. Now, he reckons it's just a bit of a flu bug and he thinks I should take the rest of the week off. Um, yeah, listen... Oh, no, no, there's no point, honestly. I'll probably be in bed asleep anyway. No, listen, look, I think we'd better not go when I was on Friday on the head. Yeah, I don't think I'll be up to it. No, I'll, I'll phone you if I get better, like. Yeah, I will. All right, then. Yeah, I'll see you next week. All right, Owen. Bye. Bye. Einstein had have trouble doing this himself. Well, it was. You moved Harry's furniture out of the house. Well, I'll move it back in, if you like. Hey, I'm not saying you have to do that. Well, what are you saying, then? I'm saying, well, you haven't made your own bed, so you can't lie in it. Oh, very funny. <laughs> Been taking the Tarbuck tablets again, have you? Mm. So you're going to fix it up in here, then? Yeah, well, there's no space in the kids' room, is there? Hey, I'll be able to tell them in the shop what Andy man my father is. Oh, are you? And now he's been bitten by the DIY bug. Now he's what? Bitten by the DIY bug. He'd be, be buying all his stuff from our shop. You never know. I might even get some commission. Hey, look, just let me get this one sorted first, love, will you? All right. Anyway, if you get stuck, you can ask our Leo to give you a hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's if we can get a word out of him this day. Yeah. I woke him up this morning, he was so dead quiet. So what do you reckon the matter, then? Well, this new school. But whenever I ask him about it, he just won't talk. I knew that first morning was too good to be true. Yeah. He was made up as well, wasn't he? Something was bound to go wrong. 
Do you think it's teachers or kids? Well, you know what kids are like, love. Yeah, evil half the time. And there wasn't as many black kids going through the gates yesterday morning as there was at his old school. I hope you're wrong. So do I. But it's the obvious answer, isn't it? But why won't he talk about it? Yeah, well, that'll be the old Johnson male pride shining through. Uh, but how many times have we told him? If anything like this happens, he's got to tell us. Well, look, how many times do you tell kids anything? Oh, I know. Look, uh, better go and see if he's ready, eh? Well, what does he want? Cool down. I'll go and see to him. Tell him they were done last week. What do you think you're doing? I'll give you three guesses. My guess is you're doing something that somebody else did last week. Ah, but did they do it this well? Were they here this early in the morning? Hey, will they be here once a month, every month? And will they charge you a special return of the king, half price rate for your first wash? Keep talking. Well, the thing is... I said keep talking, I'll stop working. Have you seen Rocky? The film. Yeah, you know, Sylvester Stallone. Which one? There's been 20, you know. Oh, I don't know, Rocky 2, 9, 12, I don't know. Anyway. Look on me as Rocky. Well, you have got the body on you. Yep, I was down, I was out, and now I'm back. Rambo's round. More like Shambo. Yep, just like Rocky, running up them steps, you know. And millions of kids running after you. Yeah, yeah, all I came, Mel Gibson in Lethal Weapon 2, you know, legging all them South Africans. All right, all right, I get the picture, you're back. So what? So what? So what? I'll get me round back, street by street, window by window, starting here. Haven't said yes yet. Ah, oh, come on, look at that, it's gleaming. Not bad, I suppose. Not bad. I thought you girls from the valleys knew a good deal when you saw one. We do when we see one. Well, I'm the best-looking gift horse you'll ever meet. So it's half price first time, is it? Yep, yeah, and you don't even have to pay me now if you're short. So how much are I paying half price on? A pound less than the other shower charge. Oh, ah, yeah, I've done my market research. All right, you're on. Oh, yes, you little beauty. Being offered to the children include cocaine, solvents, and fire. Hey, you've not told him that he can do the windows again, have you? Yeah, why not? I think he's cute. What, him cute? And what am I going to tell the other mob who have been cleaning the windows? Tell him that our new old window cleaner is a pound cheaper. Yeah, and about four stone heavier. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, look, I gotta go. Hey, can you see to Leo? Yeah, all right. Is he ready yet? Ready, Dad. Leo? I don't feel well. Can I stay off school today, Dad? Look, I gotta go. Get dressed like a good lad. See you later. Yeah, all right, love. All right, son. What's all this I don't feel well stuff about? I don't know. I mean, you can't just stay off school when you feel like it, you know. I know. Look, by the time you get back, I'll have all these sorted. And you've always wanted a top bunk, haven't you? Yeah. Now, look, you can't tell me what's the matter, you know. We're all men together, aren't we? Do I have to go to school today, Dad? Well, you know, son, we all have to do things we don't want to. And I've just promised your mum that I'll take you to school. You don't mean to break me promise, do you? No. I do know what it feels like, you know. There's a time when I would do anything to stay off school. I used to drink salt water, eat soap, put my fingers down my throat, anything to make it look like I was sick. I do know what it's like being the new boy, being different. Come here. We used to have a lad at our school. What was he called now? Brian Finnegan. Now, if you think your Uncle Simbad's fat, you should have seen this fella. He used to grab us and sit on us till we nearly burst. He used to call me and my mates all sorts, he did. Sometime he'd grab us and hit us for no reason. I'd go and tell the teacher, but they wouldn't do anything. I was just another stupid little kid. I wonder what he's doing now, old fat figgy. I hated that lad. All oh, right, mate. What'd you say, eh? Gonna be a good boy for your mum and get ready and go to school? OK, Dad. Yeah, that's it. Go on, then, get your skates on, eh? Or we'll be late.
Another job well done. All right, mate. Hey, uh, when you talk to any manners, pal? Are you talking to me? I'm just saying good morning, that's all, you know. Well, I can either small talk you or sweet talk her. So, um, come back when you lost three stone. Hold your jerry. Crazy on the ball. Two to bounce. Bounce to Bisley. Bisley to rush. Rush. He's got a chance. Goal! Who are you? All right. Well, what do you want? I'm the window cleaner ready for action. We haven't got a window cleaner. Well, you have now. Some bad shammy at your service. Oh, I, yeah. Get up the ladder, have a look in the window, and see what's with it, Robin. Are you calling me a thief? Well, I might be. Shouldn't you be at school or something? Don't be nosy. Or what is it, a holy day of obli gobbly or something, is it? You are. Look, is your mum or your dad in? Yeah, my mum's in the back garden. Well, could you go and get her for me, please? Hey, mum, some fat fella here wants to talk to you. You're gonna be late. Kids. What can I do for you, love? Well, actually, it's more of a case of uh, what I can do for you. How do you work that out? Well, Simbad's the name, window cleaning's the game. I'm Dee Dee. There was a card left here for window cleaning outfit, but I don't remember reading anything on it about anybody called Sinbad. A card, eh? That'll be them cowboys again. Well, look, listen, DZ, it's up to you who you have nosing in your windows every fortnight. But between you and me, I mean, I'd trust them as far as I could throw them. Well, you would say that, wouldn't you? Look, ruthless, DR. Look, I've been doing this window round for years. I mean, I'm, I'm more of a family friend to the people around here than a window man, you know. Is that so? Yeah, do you know what? Honestly, I went away for a fortnight to see my Auntie Nora. She wasn't well. She lives up in Scotland, you know, up in the islands. Anyway. She wasn't well. Yeah, you said that. Yeah. So, anyway, I came back a fortnight later, and this crowd had muscled in and pinched half me around. And you know what? They told me customers that I'd, uh, well, that I'd snuffed it in a motorbike accident. It's better than watching telly, this. So what happened next? Well, I've had to painstakingly rebuild me round, you know. And have you succeeded? Well, I'm getting there. I'm sure you are. Yeah. In fact, um, well, I don't suppose I should tell you this, but I'm more of a, uh, a hero to the people around here, you know. Do you know what? I thought you might be. Well, since the fire in your shed, you know, well, when that went up, well, I was the first one on the scene and I put it out just in time, otherwise the old clothes could have gone up, you know. It's a good thing I had me bucket. So do you want some fresh, then? What? Fresh water for the windows. Oh, yeah, sound, yeah. Tony! You should be at school by now. Fill this bucket with water for the window man, will you? And then get to school. Um, there's a couple of conditions to this job. Oh, I. Well, since we've just moved in, what with all the dirt and the mess and the dust, how about doing the inside this time for nothing? Yeah, all right, yeah. I'm coming back with Savvy to help us fill the skip with rubbish. Fair enough. How much do you charge? To you, 175. Well, seeing we're getting a local hero. All right, then. Oh, yeah, it's our lad. Right, then, we'll leave you to it. <sighs> Hey, Dad. Neil? What are you doing here? And what's happened to your blazer? I ate that school. Have you walked all the way home? Yeah. So you're skiving? Yeah. And hey, son, it's supposed to be me that's doing the bunk. Well, we're going back up to the school. Right now.
All right, Rod. All right, Barry. Been any phone calls from me, has there? No. Why are you expecting something, are you? I'm always expecting something, aren't I? Maybe you should buy an answer to the machine, then. State agent hasn't phoned for me, has he? No. Why are you not thinking of moving, are you? What? I'll break up a happy family home like this? No chance. Hey, uh, what are you all dressed up for, anyway? Oh, well, then, um, some of us don't need a reason, do we, to be dressed up? Oh, uh, just thought you might be going to a party or something. What party is that? This one over here. This, um, mysterious party. Oh, that? That was ages ago, wasn't it? It's a funny sort of ticket, though, wasn't it? It's a funny sort of party. Hasn't even got a venue on it. It was a surprise party. So, um, where was it held, then? Ah. Look, look, I know you're my stepbrother and all that, like, and... I should have invited you, but, you know, I just didn't think. It was an illegal party, wasn't it? Illegal? I don't know nothing about that, officer. I mean, I just had a drink and a dance and all that, you know? Yeah, well, the idiots who organise these parties don't know the trouble they're letting themselves in for. Well, I'll tell you what. The next time I see them, I'll tell them. You think you're so clever, don't you? I'm a lot cleverer than some of the people I know. A lot clever as this, then, eh? Hey, you divvy! What? Invited to a party, were you? 500 times, yeah? You just made a big mistake there, Plodney. I've made a mistake. You're the one breaking all the laws. Oh, and I suppose it's part of busy procedure, is it? Going through somebody's bag? Yeah, well, I'm powered under Section 2, Part 1 of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act to search your bag if you have reasonable suspicion that there may be evidence contained therein, which may indicate a crime has been committed. All right? Can you say that again? How long have you been running these acid house parties? Acid house parties? You've been needing the sun again, haven't you? How many have you put on? Look, yeah, uh, I'm entitled to one phone call. You don't know a good lawyer, do you? Big hard knock in your suit, aren't you? Plazzy gangster. What happens if there's a fire at one of these dues, eh? And all sorts of people get killed? I don't do barbecues. Well, what about drugs? Drugs? I've told you, you've been reading too many tabloids. There's no safety at any of these places. No fire exits, no air vents. Where'd you read that? This week's news of the plod. If you go into any place on Saturday night in town, it's a fire risk. All right. So that makes what you're doing right, does it, yeah? I'm not interested in right or wrong. I'm just interested in money. Yeah, well, you can use that to pay your fines, can't you, when you get raided? I got raided the other week. It was the best thing that happened to me in ages. Yeah, well, you've been sussed now. What are you going to do? Shop your own stepbrother? What would the family say about that? I'm not interested. Didn't Italy used to train kids in the war to do that? It's not down for you. No. Well, that's really upsetting, that. But I can't worry about it right now. See, I've got to go and see a man about a way else. ta -da, brothers. Home at last, eh? Yeah. Who's this, then? Oh, are you following me? Some guy muscling in on my babe, then, is he? Your babe? Do you have sister to your school? No. Just call me Mikey Day. You know what? I'll call you for the kids, because it's... Save that for later. You two go and study then, or what? We met on the way home, didn't we? Yeah. And a bit mum and dad on and now we're going to wait together until they are, aren't we, mate? Hey, well, you babysit me later if you're mad, isn't it? You'll have to wait your turn. Come on. Yeah, take it easy, Lee. I'm sorry I opened my mouth. You better have a break, Skip will be here soon. What's in them bags, anyway? I'm just rubbish stuff we don't need. <sighs> Do you enough? Yeah, well, so to you. Where did you get it? Come on, Jack, fair's fair. Go make some bad a cup of tea, eh? Yeah, fair's fair, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how many sugar in bad? Twenty. Take no notice. Don't worry, I won't. <laughs> Oh, that'll be the skip. Well, hadn't you better go round and sign for it? 
See the fella? There's no need. I have a mate of Ron's. It's all sorted. What do you call this sorted? You don't see me flapping, do you? You've got it well sussed, haven't you? Some of the time. Tone! Hey, do you mind if I finish my tea before I make a start on them bags? That's if it ever gets here. Tony! What? Do you fancy shifting some of those bags to the skip while Simba has a break? Oh, no. Oh, Tone! He loves his skateboard, doesn't he? Almost as much as that stupid hat. Starts his own removals for him. I think he already has, judging by some of the rubbish he drags back here. Ah! What was that? Tone! Tony! God! Oh, my God! Right? Tony! Tone! Tone! Tony! God! God, it? Big blood. We nicked it from the school play. You little... Get inside! It was only a joke, Mum! Leo! 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 He's not you, Mick. Hello? Hiya. Look who I found on the way home. Oh, thank God for that. What do you think you're trying to do to us? Did you bunk off again? Your dad's asking you a question. Answer him! Right, take it easy, Joss. Take it easy? Look, I'd better get back home. My mum and dad will be wondering where I am. Hey, listen, Sammy. Thanks, love. We owe you one. You're welcome. I think we'd better sort this out fast. Oh, well, let's just calm down, eh? Why? It's her son's first week at a new school and he's more out than in. I want to know what's going on. Look, we'll get nowhere by shouting at him. Look, Leo, go and play in your room, son. Blazer? It was an accident. Do you know how much that blazer set us back? All right, Josie. Go to your room, Leo. Have you gone soft on me or what? You're supposed to be his dad and not his mate. They'll get nowhere by balling at him. And anyway, I'm both. Wish I just knew what was going on. Well, he'll tell us when he's ready, babe. And when's that supposed to be? In the meantime, maybe things will sort themselves out. I'm not having him skiving off every five minutes. He hasn't yet. Only today. Twice today. What do you tell him when you took him back at dinner time? Well, no problem. I just said I picked him up to take him to the dentist. Oh, great. Lie to the teachers. Well, what did you expect me to say? Our Leo, the new boy, has been sagging off and he's taken a vow of silence into the bargain. I'm sorry. It's just, well, I thought everything was going so smooth and now this all is upset. Listen. Our kids are worth it a thousand times over. You know that. Yeah, I know. Look, I'll go and see the teacher at the end of the week if things are no better, right? All right. And in the meantime, well, we'll just let him know that he doesn't have to tell us what's going on until he's ready. Okay. Come here. <sighs> well, as you can see, Mr. Corkill. Uh, please. Uh, Call me, Rod. Well, as you can see, Rod, the, the property is in a state of relative disrepair, but the basic structure is sound. Yes, but it does need some work doing to it. <laughs> a fact amply reflected in the low asking price, Rod. <laughs> Which wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that there's uh, plenty of empty factories all over Liverpool. Nobody would deny it is an investor's market. Um, how long has it been up for sale? Uh, I don't have the exact figures to hand, Rod, but... Uh, I wouldn't deny it is quite some time. <laughs> wouldn't deny much, would you? Uh, what uh, what line are you hoping to move into? Line? A business. Oh, crime. Sorry? Crime prevention. Burger alarms. Uh, assembling, installing, maintenance. The whole process, start to finish. You must be planning a big operation. Well, I'm hoping to see off all those little industrial units around here. <laughs> I'm sure. But I hope you'll bear in mind that if you find this place too large for a light engineering concern, we do have some more compact properties available. No, no, I think this would be ideal. <laughs> My motto has always been think big, you know. Of course. Well, is there anything else I can tell you about the property? Um, how about security? Security? Well, you do have security. Well, uh, <laughs> there is a night watchman on patrol. More to prevent vandalism than theft. Mind you, I don't suppose there's uh, much worth breaking into that place for. 
Well, perhaps we should have a burglar alarm fitted. <laughs> you uh, did say one security guard, then. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about from that quarter, Rod. No. No, well, you're probably right. OK. Um, what is the possibility of your being interested further, if you don't mind my asking? No, I uh, don't mind you asking at all. In fact, I'm very interested indeed. My solicitor will be in touch in the next couple of days. Goodbye. Wouldn't you have thought they brought enough gear with them, Ed? Ours is not a reason why. <laughs> Bring it round the back, Ed. OK. My Ron's made up with this. He's before he's gone. Tell him he's welcome. I'm just glad he's going to a good home. I didn't know you were a music lover. Neither did I. So what about Friday, then? What's the matter? Scared your mum might hear. Yeah, petrified. All right, then what time? About seven. Just give us a nod. Pace you, aren't you? Yeah, hopeless. I think I'd better bring the chaperone along with me just to keep an eye on things. Good idea. Just make sure she's good looking. Celebrity Homes in Through the Keyhole, next on Living.